Hi Jordan, this is Bennett. So my very first kiss was like yours with a girl. I was in 10th grade, a sophomore in high school, and uh, I had come out to myself when I was 13 and came out to friends in a really safe environment in a summer stock theater in uh, Hampton Beach, New Hampshire. Um, and let me just say there is really no safer place than in a theater group to come out. Um, and uh, so all ninth grade, I, I was out to myself. I knew I was gay. I wasn't telling anyone else then, but um, I was like pretty clear about that. It happened when uh, I was in, um, in the gym and uh, it was changing time and <clears throat> I was distracted by a particularly attractive and athletic young classmate. And I was sort of watching him out of the corner of my eye and I was like punishing myself. I was like, stop that, stop that, it's not right. So I like hurried and got dressed and left. And as I was walking down the hallway of the gym, I was like, now wait just a minute. I'm gay and that's totally fine because it's me. Um, yeah, so that was like the last time that I was like not gay. So then like 10th grade comes along and my best friend, who was a girl, um, introduced me to a friend of hers at a different high school. And I was... Um, we were interested in the same things, and she loved Monty Python, and I loved Monty Python, and we knew the same jokes, and we we're just energetic and fun, and um, compatible as friends, and there, there was a lot of fun and, and energy going on there. So I was like, okay, now I've got a girlfriend. And the mind is a really strange place sometimes. It can make you know something and know something else that is simultaneous and yet mutually exclusive, but you'll go down that road because the mind is plastic and it has the ability to do two things at once, even if, if they're contradictory. So that's what happened. Because um, I kind of thought, like, I'm growing and I'm, I'm becoming, like, a, a, an adult person and I'm moving on into life, and so it's a good thing to have achieved this milestone of having a, a girlfriend even though somehow that didn't plug into the fact that I was gay. Yeah, so uh, I guess we hung out, is what you'd call it if you are friends. I guess they were dates. And then finally, like, in my kitchen, when she was dropping me off, she, like, walked me into the house, and uh, in the kitchen, just before she left, she caused us to kiss. She, like, embraced me and drew me towards her, and we kissed, and... Her lips were full and pillow-like, and had I been straight, I, I think it would have been a really sensual and lovely kiss. But as I was gay, my, my thought was, eek, bleh. Sorry if she's watching this now. Um, yeah, my first thought was bleh. And I decided I would make sure that didn't happen again. <laughs> My first kiss by a man was when I was 18. Can you believe I had to wait that long? But that's what it was like in the 70s. And um, I was in San Francisco visiting my sister, Sally. Um, and I happened upon the Gay Pride Parade. In, it was in the early years when they had them. Not that early. And uh, I just was stunned by this. They had like floats with gay fathers and gay Samoans and gay Native Americans. And I was like, oh my god, they've got gay Samoans! So I uh, ended up down at the festival and uh, I saw the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence and they had a booth. And I was sort of too shy to go up to them. I was like really shy. Um, which is strange because I was always a performer. But in person, with no costume, I was shy. So one of them saw me sort of looking sidelong at them and he just flounced right up to me in a little Air Force jacket, black tights, low pumps, and his nun's wimple and uh, coronet and veil. And that was sister missionary position. And he chatted me up for about 15 minutes and uh, that was nice. Uh, and he was like a little guy, I I'm gonna guess in his 40s maybe, and had like a beard, like a full beard and mustache, and little glasses. and. Um, then I finally was like, okay, well, I'm, I'm going to go now. And he said, can I kiss you? And I was never good at saying no in those days. Fortunately, I never got into any bad situations with that. But uh, so I didn't say no. I said, sure. And he kissed me and he slipped me the tongue. And that was my first kiss by a man. 
and my first thought of my first kiss by a man was bleh. So my first two kisses were bleh. But it got much better after that. You'll have to contact me if you want to hear those stories.